the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. The cemeteries are full of dead people. And it basically testifies to the fact that the Bible is correct when it says, the soul that sitteth shall surely die. Hell was not made for man. Hell was, Hell was made for Satan and his angel. It was not made for man. But man fell in the garden. And therefore he rebelled against the holy God. And therefore he will suffer in torment for all eternity if he does not receive Jesus Christ. The devil is not in charge of hell. The devil will be screaming and grinding his teeth in hellfire because he thought he was better than God. What a joke. What a lie. What a deception. There's no party in hell. It was canceled due to fire. Amen, boy. What happens when there is a fire in a nightclub? Everybody runs out of the nightclub. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. There's no escape from hell. No escape. Today is the day of salvation. Listen up, people. The NFL was full of pride, like you are. And what they did was, they canceled prayer on the field. They would not let you pray on the field to Jesus Christ. But then there was a safety named Dumar Hamill, who collapsed. That's right, he had a major heart attack at 24 years old. Thank God someone was able to administer CPR. But you know what happened immediately after? They got down on their knees and asked for God's help. And that's what you need to do today. That's what me and my brothers did today. We got down on our knees and we thank God for sending us the true help, which is Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. People, life is short. No one is promised tomorrow. Today is the day of salvation. Mock the word of God, but there are no mockers in hellfire. There are no mockers in hellfire. There is no tough guys in hellfire. They're all grinding and gnashing their teeth. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. There is no God. Through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Time is short. How do I know time is short? Because it says in Romans chapter 1 that when the end time is near, women will lust for other women and men will lust for men. And we are in that age. We live in a country where men marry men and women marry women. So we know we're in the end time. We know Jesus is coming back real soon. This time, he's not coming back as the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. This time, he's coming back as the Lion of Judah, and he's going to put it down all rebellion. Amen, brother. So right. Get right with him and get right with him now because you could be just like Dumar Hamel and you could have a massive heart attack and not be revived. He's in intensive care right now. I hope somebody preaches the gospel for him so he can get saved. 
so he can know Jesus Christ personally. Let's talk about the Pope. There's no hope in a Pope. Burning in hell. was a pagan that worshipped idols. That's right. He thought that worshipping idols would make him a, a place in heaven. And God says in his commandments that we're not supposed to make any graven images. That we're not supposed to bow down to them. You need to receive Jesus Christ as your Savior. But Jesus Christ is alive. Jesus Christ sits at the right hand of God, providing intercession for each and every one of us. I serve a living Messiah. I serve a living God. I serve a superhero that raised the dead that gave sight to the blind, that healed the way. That's what my superhero did. And my superhero is not fictitious, like your superhero. My superhero lived. That's why we are in the year 2023. Because 2023 years ago, a virgin conceived by the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, God the Son. If your God is not God the Father, if your God is not God the Son, if your God is not God the Holy Spirit, then you have a false God, and that is called idolatry. And all idolaters will end up in the lake of fire. Today is the time to repent. Today is a day to get right with God. And we live in a country. We live in a country that will put you in jail if you kill an eagle, if you kill a turtle, or a thing. They'll lock you up and put you in jail, but they let you kill your children without any penalty. We live in America that kills four million babies annually, and nobody cares. If you don't be confident in hellfire, you will not be confident in hellfire. You'll be gnashing your teeth. You'll be wailing and crying. You'll be gnashing your teeth. You'll be begging for mercy. And the only
confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Some will do it with love and adoration, while others will do it with great fear and trembling. But everyone will today and stop being a mocker like your sorrow and confused and deceived liar over here. That's what she is. She's just a distraction and that's what the world is. They want to distract you from knowing the truth. Yep. They don't want you to know the truth because they're perishing in their sins. See, they can't have a discussion. They can only use curse words. Let's focus on what. Oh, I should focus on what? I should focus on what? The gospel. Oh, I'm a sinner for what? For what? For what? The Bible says all has sin. For what? For what? How does he know? How does he know? The Bible tells you that. How does he know? What did I sin? What did I sin for? What does he sin for? What? How do I know? We all were born into sin. Oh, is that so? All born in Adam. Oh, is that so? The Bible says all. You should get a job, bud. You should get a job. Oh, I'm sure. I do have a job. I'm sure. You need Jesus, my friend. You need Jesus Christ to save you. You need Jesus. You need the Lord. That's what's happened. You've been broken. I like his ass, though. So. His ass is wonderful. But don't worry, there's hope for you. And that hope is in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the devil's hands And then guess what? You'll no longer believe in killing your baby. You'll no longer believe if you're a man that you should marry another man. You'll no longer believe if you're a woman that you should marry another woman. Jesus is Lord. There's two homosexuals raising a baby. That is the greatest child abuse that I've ever seen in this country. And it needs to stop. And it needs to stop now. When Jesus comes back, he's going to put an end to it all. That's right. He's going to put a full stop to it. I'm not a supporter of Trump. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Jesus Christ is going to be much more stricter than Donald Trump. Jesus Christ isn't going to let men marry men. Jesus Christ isn't going to let women marry women. Jesus Christ isn't going to let this nation kill four million babies like Trump did. That's right. So you said you hated Trump. That's where you'll be found. And you don't have to go there, but you know what? You came out of your own mouth and you said you hate Jesus Christ. And therefore he will. He will put down your rebellion. You won't be some tough woman thinking you're so tough, thinking there'll be no feminism when Jesus comes back. That's right. He's going to do away with feminism. Women that hate men. Women that hate their babies. That's right. You are. You're I'm glad your mother and father didn't hate you. you. And didn't send you. That's wrong. We love these people. We love these people here. You love them? You don't suck. You don't suck. Like you love people. That's not love. That's telling you're judging people. You don't have the right to fucking do that. We're just preaching on the sins of this nation. We're just preaching on the sins of this nation. Go fuck yourself. Why am I loving you? Go fuck yourself. Himself in hell. He's telling you, go fuck 
You need Jesus, ma'am. You need Jesus Christ. Heaven or hell when you die. You're full of hatred, man. You're so full of hatred. You need Jesus. You're so full of hatred. You're so full of hatred. You're so full of hatred. You're full of vile things. We're giving you the gospel to be saved. We're telling you you need Jesus to be saved from hell. We don't want you to go to hell. We don't want you to go to hell, man. We care about your soul. And that's right, you defile when you love your baby, when you hate Jesus Christ. You are defiled by your sin. Only He can no, clean you up. It's like it's a dirt more, more problem, man. You need His help and you need it today because tomorrow is not promised to any of you. Mock and make you know, fun. And you'll spend an eternity wishing you did it. You'll spend an eternity gnashing and grinding your teeth, begging for a drop of water. That's right, run into the 7-Eleven and get something cold to drink, because in hell there is nothing cold to drink. That's right. Trust in Jesus, folks. Trust in Jesus Christ. Have no hell. How are you going to handle the heat in hell? How are you going to handle the heat in hell? There is no air conditioning in hellfire, people. So keep being defiant, making a mockery of what Jesus Christ did on the cross over 2,000 years ago. That's right, they mocked him then too, and they made fun of him then too, but he loved you enough to stay on the cross and taste the wrath of God, which you and me should have tasted. Right. But we don't have to taste it if we receive him and we run into his loving arms. But if you want to be his enemy and you want to declare war on him, he will fight you when he comes back and he will crush you. He will crush you in... The blood that'll be up to the neck of the horse. That's right, people. It's no joke. You're taking on something, something that you have no idea of. Don't mock God while you have breath in you. Humble yourself. Agree that you're a dirty, rotten sinner like me and my brothers did. That's right, Amen. we were dirty, filthy, rotten sinners. But the only difference is we humbled ourselves. We thank Jesus Christ for dying on the cross for our sins. And therefore, we're not better than you, but we are better off because we receive God's forgiveness through the blood of Jesus Christ. And that's why we're here. We don't want to see you in hellfire, but we need to warn you that that's where you'll be if you reject such great salvation in Jesus Christ. There is no other way. Jesus said, I am the way. Jesus said, I am the truth. Jesus said, I am the life. And he is. And if you want eternal life, it's only through Jesus Christ. No Pope can save you. No Amen. Iman can save you. No priest can save you. No holy man can save you. We cannot save you. Right, only Jesus Christ can save you. Use your smartphone. Download the King James Bible and start reading the Word of God for yourself. That way, no false religion can deceive you. That way, no government can deceive you. That's right, the government is in the business of deceiving you. That's right.